This video is going to be a bit of a kind of week in Azid's shoes. Um, so I thought I would kind of run you through the process of how I plan my training regime, um, how I structure it, and kind of just bring you along for a week of training Azid. So I've just grabbed a head collar and the feed. I always feed my horses before they do any exercise. So the two that will still be in the field that aren't being ridden will have their proper dinner and the one that's being trained will just have um, some soaked fibre beet and some Bailey's Eden Excel cubes just to make sure there's something in their stomach. So here we go, head collar feeds at the ready, up to the field we go. So before I feed them, probably going to be some uh, complaining in the background, I want food now. But anyway, I'll run you through how I start to plan my season. So what I do, I've got, when I, weirdly, when I buy a horse, I kind of set out my yearly goals for them for like the next five, six years. It'll come in a minute to be this one, so impatient. And then I'll kind of work back down from there. So in Azid's case, um, yes, we're kind of seeing how far he goes, but in an ideal world, I'd like to do his first one star this year. So he needs to do, I'd like to do a 40K on him, just to see how he's going. Then he needs to do an 80k to complete his advance, and then he can do a one star 100 kilometer. Stop it, be patient. Um, he doesn't get his food until he stops doing that, so he'll need to wait. Then what I do is I work backwards from that. So my main goal this year would be a one star. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to completely peak his fitness for. And then the 80k and the 40k are little kind of smaller peaks, but not what we're with the, the main aim. So I work back in weeks and then I, I kind of break it down into blocks of six, um, blocks of training. I sort out all the farriery when the dates need to be so that the shoes are best for the competitions. Um, and then I structure it based on that. It has turned into a beautifully sunny day. I'm actually going to have to take my coat off because I'm boiling. So first 2021 ride in a t-shirt, I think. So Azid has had his snack. He's in from the field. Hey Azid. So today we are going to do a bit of schooling. Um, Azid is in his second block of six weeks now. So he's done his kind of slower work, um, mostly schooling and lunging, and he's now going into kind of the longer-ish hack, so minimum 10K, maximum 20, and kind of reducing the schooling and starting to increase his distance. So he's in phase two. I ride on a two-week cycle, so I've got a schedule that, like I've got a week one and week two, and at the moment he's being ridden every other day, and he'll stay like that until he gets over 40K, fingers crossed. So let's take him up, take him up. Let's tack him up and go schooling. Welcome to training 
take two. So this is Azid's second lot of training this week. We are going out for a hack with Izzy and Sarah is riding through the for me. Hello. Hello. All ready to go to Manchester Woods. To the woods. Let's go. <laughs> You're just like, how rude. How dare you overtake me? But, oh yeah. Nose in front. <laughs> Good boy. I don't think we're quite controlled enough to trot through this gap. Hey? Good boy! <laughs> what is that? Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh yes, these beautiful rhythm. bum not drag yourself up yeah work your bum good lad good lad Whoop. <laughs> I mean you can't jump when you're on the flat sweeter I wouldn't try when you're on a slope you need to try, isn't it? <laughs> yes good boy we're back well we're almost back <laughs> we've got about 500 meters to go we just did about 14 kilometres, um, a little bit, mostly trot, quite a lot of walk, a little bit of canter. Both of them were very good at keeping a nice even pace, even this little monkey. Well done, Azid. So yeah, session two of the week done. Training session number three. Wonder if you can guess what we're doing right now. I don't think it'll be too hard. So Azid is lunging for this session. Um, we're a little bit of a mishmash of lunging aids as well. So we've gone for the back end of a Pessoa. On the front end, we've got two bungee side reins going into the girth. At the moment, those bungee side reins are really, really loose. He can put his head right up. It's just getting him used to it. He, Azid hasn't actually done that much lunging, uh, mainly because he's been too injured. Um, so we're, we're super loose at the moment and then it's just to encourage him to bring his head down and the back end of the Pessoa is to encourage him to get his bum underneath him and the idea of me not using the Pessoa through the bit is that when he lengthens his stride and the Pessoa is attached to the bit then he almost gets um, kind of penalised for lengthening his stride because as their back leg goes back it will pull their head in so we're going for a two part to see whether he can lengthen his stride, encourage to come underneath himself and stretch his head down. We'll see. It'll take a few months because he's not that good yet, but 
yeah, so training session number three. <laughs> I can see them move and it's really good for me to see how the muscles are moving how the legs are coming underneath them without me kind of being on top and hindering them so they get to use their own body in a different way without a rider on um, and I find it really beneficial to kind of get my voice commands up because when I ride I like to use my voice a lot otherwise I don't want to be trying to hold them together with my body for a hundred miles um, he did really well he is getting better he tends to motorbike around a little bit um, but he's getting there, at least Dan doesn't have to run around with him anymore. We are at Poplar's Park um, in Anslow, so it is a grass cross, cross country course. Um, I don't do the jumps, so the jumps are optional, but the jumps are actually really nice. They've just updated some of the jumps that I haven't seen before, so they'll be um, interesting to see if Vazid likes to spook at them. Um, they also have a beautiful new menage with mirrors and things, um, and they also have a carriage driving course, so very, very versatile place to come. They have an annual pass, um, and you basically have unlimited access as long as there's no kind of other events going on, and everyone is super friendly. So I'm so excited to be back because Azid has not done a canter training session in two years due to his many many injuries and lockdowns and not being able to access so this is the first time I've come since lockdown 3.0 in the UK has lifted I can't wait to see what he can do so we're gonna go nice and steady Azid isn't doing any speed work yet um, so it's a nice steady canter session interspersed with some walks see how it goes it's actually quite warm so yeah first canter session of the season can you tell I'm excited right let's get this all stacked up Hi boy, take your tailboard off. Boy.
done, I have got a very tired, sweaty pony. We're just going to do 10 minutes in this pond to pull his legs off. Um, must say a big thank you to Dad for buying us a drone that hopefully you've seen some awesome aerial footage of this training session. So thanks Dad for that. It's going to make our videos that a little bit extra cool. Um, Azid went really well, maybe a little bit faster and stronger than I would have liked him to be, but it's a work in progress and it's his first session back in two years. So you can't complain about that. So that's a week in the life of Azid training him. He's done four sessions this week, day on, day off, and soon is our first 40k of the season. Good boy. Oh, look how sweaty you are.